Um, I'm going to be reading a story today by one of my favorite um, authors, Myra Kalman. This is called What Pete Ate from A to Z. And I thought it would be a good book to read because it's about a naughty animal, like my Frankie. And also, it's about eating. And this week, some of you will be celebrating either Passover or Easter, perhaps. And you might be having some really yummy meals with your families. So let's see what Pete ate from A to Z. You guys ready? What Pete ate from A to Z, where we explore the English alphabet in its entirety, in which a certain dog devours a myriad of items which he should not. By Myra Cullen. My name is Poppy Wise. This is my little brother, Mookie. And this is my dog, Pete. A good dog, a very good dog. But sometimes he is not so good. He eats what he should not. What? I will start with A. He ate Cousin Rocky's accordion. All of it. B. He ate a bouncing ball that belonged to Uncle Benny's dog, Buster. Buster is no bargain. He barks all the time, but still. Benny lived in a beautiful room that had a bed, a book, a box, and a bottle of water. And some other things that don't begin with B. C. He did not eat the cake from Olga or the creamy cupcake, no. He ate my camera. I love to take pictures. Look, baby Mookie eating noodles, my best friend Doreen Parsley, the great dancer. Let's see right there. Let's move on to D. He ripped the head off my dear doll Dinky. Dreadful dog. E. While Doreen and I were making egg salad sandwiches for the Egghead Club, Pete ran off with everything. Egg slicer, egg beater, egg sandwich, common cuckoo egg, an emu egg, a Chinese bulbul egg. E gads, doesn't Pete know the difference between edible and inedible? Here are foods that are edible. Apple, bread, cake, cupcake, egg sandwich, honey, ice pop, jelly beans, and veal roast. Inedible. Accordion, ball, camera, doll, egg beater, fez, glue stick, homework, and money. Oh, Pete. F. He ate a fez. Fez is also a city in a country called Morocco, in a continent called Africa. Not everyone in Fez wears a fez. G. While the Twinkle Twins were gluing together Mookie's Halloween costume, Pete gobbled the glue stick with gusto. Gooey, gluey dog. H. He ate half of my homework. But did Mrs. Hugenschmidt believe me? Ha! Hardly. Horrible dog. I. When I turned my back for an itsy iota of time, he ate my beautiful pink ice pop. J, in a jiffy, he ate 25 jelly beans and he jumped for joy. K, he ate Mookie's magic key. The key opened Mookie's secret box. What's inside is a secret but I will tell only you. It is his kazoo. L. At the Lucky Dog Show, he ate all the leashes, which let loose all the dogs, who ate all the lemon tarts and drank all the lemonade, and Mrs. Parsley was livid.
M. I don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill, but he ate Benny's money. Holy mackerel. Now Bunny, no Benny has no money, none, to buy Buster a new ball, which you'll remember Pete ate many letters ago. We just moved to the letter N, M, N. Oh, oh, once in a while we go into the woods and Pete is perfect. Then I am of the opinion that this dog is okay. Oops, P. We are up to P. He ate Mrs. Parsley's pink pocketbook. And she said, take that Pete back to the pet shop and get yourself a polite pooch. Poo on Mrs. Parsley. Q. Quick question, would you love a dog who ate your lucky quarter, the cue from your alphabet collection, your porcupine quill, even if for the quadrillionth time you said quit it, don't eat that, and he did, would you still love that dog? Quite a lot. R. one rainy day he ate a rubber glove and a rubber band necklace Mrs. Parsley wore to a meeting of the Rubber Band Society. Roberta Rothschild is the president of a rubber band society. Now Pete bounces around the room. S. He ate Mookie's stinky sneaker for breakfast. Doreen Parsley's sandal for lunch. Rocky's pointy shoe from Japan for dinner. And a soft suede slipper for a midnight snack. The Twinkle Twins have a dog named Twinkie. Twinkie may look insane, but she does not eat their things. You, you can understand that I would be unhappy to say this, but Pete ate Cousin Rocky's underpants. Ugh. Getting towards the end of the book. It's a long alphabet. V. While Mookie was playing the violin very badly, thank you very much, Pete ran off with the veal roast, very angry and hungry family. W, what can I say? In his wallet, Rocky keeps a list of all the times he was insulted his whole life. It used to look like this, who, what, when, why, and where. Now it looks like this. Personally, I am happy that Pete ate it. Wow. I just have to show you that one by itself because it's pretty funny. X. When Pete eats extra crunchy, extra cheesy cheese doodles, he turns bright orange. Why? Yikes. He ate Mookie's yo-yo, my yo-yo, Doreen's yo-yo. Now there will be no yo-yo contest. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, and the yo-yos are the Twinkle Twins. Z. This is what he will not eat. Zug, zug, dog grub. Zip, zilch, zero. Can you blame him? Zooks. What a dog. The end. Here's the cover in case you want to look for this book because it's pretty funny. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing everybody this week on Zoom, which starts with a Z. Bye.